Enggak. Enggak. What is up, beautiful? How you doing? So, a little update of my life. I put a monitor in front of my face, a massive monitor, and I, I can't stop watching myself drink water on it. So, I'm a hairdresser, I watch videos, and I react to them for a living. Yes. I love 2019. I'm just kidding, listen, okay? I do a lot of stuff in my life, not just that, all right? I do, I do a lot, all right? I do be filming a lot and I do be working a lot and that isn't all I do with my life, but still, it's pretty dope and I'm very grateful. And thank you for being here and watching today. So, we're gonna be watching some people do some emo hairstyling and some emo, emo haircuts and some emo things and some scene things and I love that. I was a scene kid. If you didn't already know that, I've said that a million times in this channel, so let's get started. Let's watch. Some emo hairstyling tutorials. Let's do it. <laughs> Brad, you're distracting me. You're distracting me. And hey, you think you're so cool because you're distracting me? Oh, yeah, okay. So I was doing some really intense research for this video today. And I know, I mean, like, really just a lot of hard hitting research. And I found this video that I just felt needed to be shared more than it already has been. It has 467,000 views and it's called How to Do Emo Hair for Guys, Hair Care and Styling. And it's by E. How Beauty. I mean, if E. How made a video about this, I need to see it. It seems like something that I need in my life. So let's click play here. Wait. Jill Maria, and I'm a makeup artist and stylist at Salon 27. Oh, this is already starting off gold. She's Southern. She's Southern, and she's doing an emo hairstyling tutorial for a 10-year-old child, and he's wearing Abercrombie. I mean, this is gold. Absolute gold. First thing that we're going to do is take this section in the crown, and we're going to tease it. Oh, this poor woman. <laughs> Nothing to say. <laughs> Can we get a zoom in of this face, please? Oh my god. <laughs> this kid hates his life. This is definitely his mom, and she is forcing him to do this. And this is how you style emo hair for boys. <laughs> Jeffrey with Salon 27. Yes, Salon 27. Oh. I need to go there. That's really all I wanted to share with you guys. I mean, like, we could end the video here and I'd be happy. That was so good for me. I needed that today. It was so good. That's it. So, thank you guys so much for watching today. Don't forget. To... Okay. All right, next video. <laughs> what is this a thing? All right, our next video is by Fernie Mac, and this is called Emo Scene Haircut Tutorial featuring a razor blade. I mean, what emo tutorial didn't feature a razor blade? I want to know, and I want to talk to that person who did not use a razor blade. Hey YouTube, what's up? It's Fernie here. <laughs> My favorite thing is when people start videos by saying, hey YouTube, or hey vlog. I don't know a lot of people named YouTube or vlog, but maybe that's like not a millennial thing. I don't know. It's looking pretty wild and crazy. Uh, yeah, you could say that. Of course we are. I mean, what also, else would we like, do? Let me just tell you also, this is from this year. So, just gonna leave that there. If you wanna see the dying of the hair, Man, click I wanna see it. I might have to click you guys what you need the annotation stuff. when I'm done. Right, okay, a flat iron. Duh! Iron to make your hair Duh! Oh, I love it. Oh, I love it. Chic. Hey, Fernie, it's it's chic. I don't know if you've seen the commercials, but it's a chic razor, not chic. I am chic. Fernie, I just hope one day I'm as brutal as you. That is honestly all I want for my life, and I can die happy. Obviously, we're just gonna have to um, flat iron his already damaged hair. Just a little damaged. And it looks like the flat iron did absolutely nothing. Love that. 
for him. So to start out, I'm just gonna. Uh huh. What are we gonna do? Take the razor. Perfect. So we're gonna take a razor that's made for shaving the face, and we're gonna cut like our like not combed out curly hair. Just kind of like shave it off. I mean, like... it kind of. I mean, so no, it doesn't like, make sense actually. Make... So, I think he's. I think his music is copyrighted, so I'm gonna just do a little freaking mute on that one. So, oh yeah, that's gonna do it. That is gonna do it. I'm pretty sure razors like that will literally do nothing to your hair. And let me just tell you, Fernie, if you wanted to use a razor, all you gotta do is go to friggin' Sally's or any of those places, and they they have razors that are actually meant for your hair, and it does a way better job than a chic razor does, or, or a chic razor, sorry. And it'd be a lot easier, and this process would go a lot faster, and I'm pretty sure the razors that are meant for your hair, the cheap ones, are cheaper than chic razors. So, Fernie, you're welcome for that one. And don't ever ask me again for any more advice, but you are welcome for that one. And I'm loving this haircut. It looks so good. Great. So it's basically just a eight minute video of him doing nothing to his hair. So thank you, Fernie, for that waste of time. And everybody at home, you're welcome for that. You're welcome for me wasting your time also. So that was a big waste of time. Let's watch a follow-up video by Fernie, where this one's called how to spike, how to do spike how to spiky emo hair. Gotta be styling gel. I mean, what else will we use? Hopefully this is a little bit better than the last one because I was just not freaking feeling that one. Should I do like a PewDiePie and just like from now on just stand up? Would that make you guys uncomfortable? Can we try it really quick? Real, 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 real quick? Spike up their mohawks or their faux hawks or whatever. I'm gonna try to spike up my hair today for you guys and we'll see how it goes. I actually just finished giving myself another haircut. Yeah, you did. <laughs> it looks like a nice specifically chemical cut, Fern. Fernie, what is happening to this head of yours? I, <laughs> I'm like, I'm genuinely interested how you got to this point. And I'm so sorry if that comes off mean or rude or whatever, but I'm genuinely just curious how we got here. Call me crazy, but I'm just not understanding something. I mean, you got 15,000 different shades of blue, and then it looks like you got quite the chemical cut going on. And I'm thinking some of those chemicals may have gotten your eyebrow and cut them off. But listen, listen, dude. Live your brutal life, man. I'm just kidding. For real though, live your life. I love that. I mean, the eyebrow look is, is you're kind of killing the game. And the makeup and the piercings, like, love it. Burns, we love it. But I meant to say, the hair just for me, it ain't it, man. That isn't it. Nobody asked for my opinion, but... Says it's the number one styling gel in Canada. Well, who cares, Fernie? Nobody you're came to know that. Washed. Oh, no. Straight. Oh, <laughs> no. Please tell me that's not true, Ferns. That is not real. You ha definitely have something in your hair. How does it possibly say in the side comb over like that? without having anything in your hair. I mean, Fernie, I'm getting a little worried at this point. Like I wasn't at first, but now I'm a little worried that why your hair is this. Well, we already, we already know why his hair is this damaged. He's been coloring it and 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 coloring it. And coloring it. Clearly there's something going on. And I guess I'm just gonna go ahead and start spiking up my hair, so fingertip pull here. Go! Do something! I'm really over you right now, Fernie. We're in a fight. I'm gonna be so impressed if this stands up. Yo, I need that stuff. <laughs> Ernie! What are we doing? Oh my god, Fern I get it now. Fernie is giving himself ferns. This all of a sudden makes so much sense to me. I can't believe I didn't put two and two together from like the beginning. This is so embarrassing. Fernie is giving himself ferns. Fernie is ferning. Maybe not that one. I keep on wanting to do this, but I'm gonna do this. If I can get three spikes to oh, stand up at so once, I'll be happy. That makes two of us, so let's get it done. Ooh, eek, that color. Oh, it's stressing me out. How did we get here with this color? Please give us a story time on this one, Bernie. It's a disaster. Maybe the worst color I've ever seen. Is that mean? That's okay. Am I being mean? Who cares? It works, but it's not perfect. It's been like 10 minutes since I put this crazy glue in my hair and my spikes are already starting what to What is this abuse? Help me. <laughs> Was this a yeah, got to be glued review? Glued spiking glue. A 3.5. Oh. 
Ooh, burn! Can we edit in flames here? Burn! Gotta be glued just melting! And there goes all their business! Burn! Gotta be glued! 3.5! Well, I don't even, whatever you rated it. Ooh, burn! Fernie, I'm so sorry that I literally just came for you so much, but uh... Maybe uh, we should just shave our heads next time. I don't know. All about the brutal life, but this was a little bit too brutal for me. And that's saying something, because I don't think I've ever been too brutaled in my life, but. All right, it's not working and somebody has to say it. All right, enough of Mr. Ferns. We're on to Lacey Davis, and this is called How I Do My Big Scene Hair. Lacey, this is clearly going to be a throwback video because this is from 2012, so we're getting some very, very genuine scene hair. All right, and I do have it muted, but I'm going to let you know. There's a lot of screamo in this song. There's a lot of screamo going on right now. Okay, so believe it or not, she has not started teasing her hair yet. Shocking, I know, but she has not. I mean, the hair, the base has to come first. I mean, you got to have the mullet cut. you got to have the mullet. And if you do not have the mullet, you cannot consider yourself a skinny queen. And you have to take a razor blade and cut that mullet until the ends of your hair are just one piece wide and the top of your hair is a helmet. And then possibly after that, you can consider yourself a scene queen. But then you have to tease it all. And then, and then maybe after that, you can consider yourself a scene queen. And then maybe even after that, a lot of hairspray, and then maybe you can be considered a scene queen. Okay, so Lacey's going in with the hairspray and with her, her back combing. Oh, look at how satisfying. Oh, Lacey. And you can tell her hair is used to this. It is already ready. Oh, Lacey. Lacey, baby girl, that is it. That is it. Oh, you know your hair has been teased so many damn times when it just stands straight up like that. And that is how you do it, ladies and gentlemen. And that is how we get it done. Yes, Lacey, you are giving me everything I wanted today and more. And thank you for that. Oh, bless your hair, darling. Bless your hair. Okay, so we do like three spike. That is sort of the moment Lacey's going for is like, and I think she's gonna brush it all back after. Usually they use like a flat brush. You guys wanna know a quick story while she's doing this. I actually used to watch these videos for fun when I was seen and I wanted this style more than anything. Nobody could tell me that it wasn't cute. Nobody. I used to take my girlfriend's hairs I used to force them to let me tease every strand of their hair until they looked like a scene Barbie doll. And it made me happy. And do I have anything that makes me that happy in life now? No. So I'd like that back. Whoever took that away from me. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, I love it. Okay, so now we take a paddle brush. This is the part where I love so much because they take a paddle brush and they just start brushing that out and they form that helmet. Oh. It already looks so good, Lacey. I'm so proud of you, girl. Baby girl, oof. You tell them. Those other girls ain't, are hating and ain't nobody care because those bangs are coming from one side of the head to the other. And that is when you know your hair is looking good. I mean, commit to something, you guys. Commit to something. Isn't that Equinox's tagline? Commit to something. And Lacey has committed. Oh, <laughs> that's it. That is what I needed. This is all. I ever wanted in my life. Uh, and she knew it. <sighs> and how much do you want to bet? That was her look that day. It was the hair out to here. And then she wore the tank top with a gray hoodie because it was all about the hoodies, man. If you didn't have a, a collection of a hundred billion hoodies, you weren't a scene queen. If that's not the Aussie hairspray, strongest hold Aussie hairspray, I'm going to be mad because that is also in the starter kit for being a scene queen or the rave hairspray. Those were the two most iconic hairsprays of that time. And arguably they still are. I don't know if anybody took them off their throne yet. X Mondo might be coming for them at some point. Good for her for putting all that time into that look. Oh, and we added the pin. She added the bow on this side. Oh, I love it. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. All right, so next video is how I tease my scene hair by Pink Cyanide. That is such a good scene name. I was out there with Bradley Bananas and Pink Cyanide, it should have been my name. Should have been. Yes! Yes! That is it. Okay, so let's start off with a little breakdown here. We got the boy bowl cut on top with the two strands hanging down, which are probably extensions. The damaged beyond repair hair that is faded out pink with yellow roots. And on top of that, we got the coontail, the black hair coontail on the bottom. 
And if that isn't the perfect recipe for a scene look, then my career is over. I mean, yeah, that is definitely what I came here for. Oh, and as I was looking away for the next, for the past five seconds, we already are forming the most beautiful lion's mane I've ever seen. And I'm so happy about it. Her poor little hair, it's okay. You'll resurrect someday. We can only hope. Ooh, uh-huh, yeah, yeah. There's nothing better too than when it's all teased really close to the root here and there's these small little pieces cascading off the top. It really is a work of art, honestly. It's not easy getting this hair. It is a commitment. I mean, it is just spectacular. Oh, see, now she's gonna do the brushing out, which is my favorite part personally. I don't know what yours is, but oh gosh, yes, 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 yes. So now we are forming that beautiful cascading waterfall hair look that we all desire, really. Uh, and if you don't, I don't know who you are because I know you and I know what you want. <sighs> and okay, great. What's the back look like? Oh, yeah, that's the back. That's the back, man. That is the back. What are you doing with your hair, pink cyanide? This is so exactly what I needed tonight. Oh, thank God. I did. I was worried she wasn't gonna put the bangs to the entire side of her head. If she didn't, I would have had to click off. Oh, thank God we got the comb over. We got the lion's mane and we got the heart at the end. Oh God, this is just so good for me. I'm gonna sleep so good tonight knowing that all this hair is just so beautiful. Oh. Brings me back every time. Boys and girls, thank you for watching. That was major. I am still basically a scene boy at heart, so I can appreciate everything that we just watched. And thank you all for sharing the videos today. I'm so sorry I ripped half of you to shreds, but sometimes life sucks. So thank you for allowing me. You didn't really allow me, but I did it anyways. But thank you for being a part of my video. And you guys, please check out my Instagram at RamondoNYC if you want to see some narcissism of me and my face uh, and a bunch of pictures of me wearing some cool clothes. Uh, also follow Xmondo if you guys want to know about hair product releases, uh, new things I'm releasing with Xmondo, a uh, wink wink, by Glorati if you want that because it's a dope product that I created. And thank you so much for watching today. And don't forget to live your extra life and I will see you uh, next time. Peace.